He's 17, he's a tech whiz, and now he's very rich. British teen programmer Nick Digoglioso has sold his new app's application suddenly to Yahoo for what's rumored to be a massive payout. Technology blog All Things Said said Yahoo paid roughly $30 million. Sunly is one of several apps that Diaglogio has designed. It uses complex al algorithms to automatically condense online news content into attractive little blocks of text for the small screens of smartphones. He says his computer skills are no, self-taught. And one of America's favorite reality TV families could be expanding. Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar tell People Magazine they're considering adoption. The stars of TLC's 19 Kids and Counting have 19 children, two grandchildren, and a third on the way. Michelle Duggar says the younger children are pushing their parents to bring another baby into the family. And whether they adopt or have another biological child, the Duggar parents say they will approach any changes with an open heart. And the teen who asked supermodel Kate Upton to prom is apparently still waiting for an answer. Upton told People Magazine that her schedule is packed and she may not be able to do it. Her representative says nothing has been decided yet and she is still checking her schedule. 17-year-old Jake Davidson posted a direct appeal to Upton on YouTube asking her to prom. And the Sports Illustrated cover girl said she'd love the video and would love to get back to him soon. And investigators are deciding whether charges should be filed against singer Justin Bieber. Bieber's neighbor accused the singer of battery and threats. It's after a confrontation outside of his California home yesterday morning. The 19-year-old music sensation moved into the exclusive community, the Oaks of Calabasas, after about a year ago. Bieber's representatives did not immediately respond to calls seeking comment. And Dionne Warwick is just about out of cash. The five-time Grammy-winning singer has filed for bankruptcy, citing more than $10 million in tax debt. Warwick is down to her last $1,000 in cash. That's according to the filing and only owns furniture and clothing worth about $1,500. Warwick's success began in 1962 with the hit Don't Make Me Over, followed by 18 consecutive top 100 singles. And CBS continues to dominate in primetime. NCIS and NCIS Los Angeles tops Nielsen's list again for the most popular TV shows last week. American Idol is still going strong, taking the number two spot that's followed by Criminal Minds, Castle, and The Walking Dead. And that's Megan's Morning Dish.